Welcome back. You're watching Alive in History. My name is Tyler, and as you can see over my right shoulder, we're at the site of a very important mine shaft, and it has a lot to do with the fall of Petersburg during the one of the final campaigns of the Civil War. If you'd like to learn more, stick around, and I think you'll be very intrigued by the backstory behind this. Let's take a closer look. So as you can see, there is the entrance to this mine. I think it's amazing that they still have it well preserved like that. Let's get some of the backstory here. You can see uh, this uh, billboard here. Uh, let's just take a closer look at it. You can see they depict uh, how the soldiers were working. It was only a four foot tall mine shaft from what I read and it was hundreds of feet long. And interestingly enough, uh, the idea for this grand plan, which uh, it did work, it did and it didn't work, we won't get into that right now, but it came from a private, uh, a bunch of Pennsylvania soldiers uh, in the Union Army, of course, and they used to be coal miners from up in Pennsylvania, so they were used to digging mines, and uh, yeah, they just thought, you know, this, this area is so heavily defended, um, that they're like you know what let us just dig a mine and then what they did they packed it with four tons of gunpowder as they finally got the hole beneath the confederate battery and they lit that the fuse and it created a huge crater which i'm about to make my way up there and i'll definitely show you guys that uh i just think this is a really really interesting um piece of history regarding the civil war out of all the things that happen you know you hear of your battlefields and cavalry um charges you know forts and all that but who digs a mine shaft hundreds of feet long packs the end with four tons of gunpowder and then blows half of this hillside apart um <laughs> yeah i just think that's really incredible uh so there's a lot more um backstory behind all this like how they ventilated the tunnel um that's pretty interesting. I think it took them about a month to dig that out. Uh, I'll try and get the exact number of feet for how long this was. Uh, I'll put it in the description. But yeah, hope you found this interesting, thought-provoking. And uh, stick with me for the next video. should be about the crater itself. And until next time, remember, we are alive in history. Take care.